Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Don here. So today, this has arrived in the post. It is my craft box for this month. So I haven't opened it. I've just took it out of the um, packaging because I always comes in a box. So um, yeah, let's see what's inside. So it is wrapped up in this gorgeous mint ribbon. If I remember rightly, we got that a few months ago as well. Um, but I do like their ribbons. Um, so let's open it up and inside so it says at august craft box my grandma's home oh so we get designer papers a companion pad pastel perfect companion pad her garden vintage letters and trinkets journaling cards chipboard set applique flowers charms stencil and ephemera so let's have a look so let's lift it out um, let me move this actually off to the side just so that we have a little bit more room. So the first thing that we've got is we have our flowers. Um, I love the flowers from here and I love that we can use the packaging as well which is awesome. Really, really nice. So these are the flowers that we've got and they're all in pastel shades. Um, this one... Um, I'm assuming this is, let's get the, the list and let's see if we can work out what bits are bits. So this, I want to say is, oh, this is the vintage letter, letters and trinkets because we have some letters there. So let's open it up and let's have a mooch. So, um, actually, let's get the letters out first, but it looks like we've got quite a few bits and pieces there is so oh, there's some beads there try not to lose them and um, we do also have they're not going to stay are they mm. right i'll just put that over there <clears throat> so this is an envelope that's nice life's a journey not a destination to someone special it's got london bridge there uh thinking of you and wishing you all life's best today and always how nice is that that would look gorgeous in a journal so we have that envelope then we have this selection of letters so let's open them up so we get quite a few actually um we can't quite read them oh we can read a few of them so these are quite nice these would look amazing as backgrounds on um, vintage, like if you did a canvas or in your um, art journaling. Oh, yeah, these would look absolutely gorgeous. So we get that. And I like the fact that they're wrapped up in this little piece of a ribbon. How cute is that? If we can get up there, we are. So, <clears throat> so that we don't lose everything, we'll pop that back in there. And then we've got a selection of different trinkets. So let's get the beads at first. So these are glass pearl beads. Um, so it looks like five mil and six mil beads. So um, let me just grab the two that I popped inside my washi so we wouldn't lose them. Um, so we have a few, a handful of there of beads. So we've got like this really gorgeous pale pink and then we've got this ivory colour. So that's nice. Um, and then we've got some cabochons. So these are some flower cabochons and all different um, ones, which are really, really nice. And then also in this little bag of goodies, we've got these two brooches. So... This one could actually be either a brooch or um, a pendant, which I think is quite nice. And then this one's a brooch. And the idea is that we um, we fill this bit up with resin or we can um, put some cabish glass cabochons with a picture in. So they're really nice. I'm loving this sun design. Really, really gorgeous. And then the last thing is, um, it wouldn't be complete, would it, without a pair of scissors. So there is that piece. Then we have this one, and I'm assuming this is going to be our charms. <coughs> so, and there's lots of lovely charms in there. So that's, um, I'm not sure if everyone gets the same actually, but I love that ballerina one. That is just gorgeous. I I've already got an idea of 
that one. We've got this little cat. We've got a cup with a rose on. We've got watermelon. Oh, we've got this little um, cup which we could use for Alice in Wonderland actually. Uh, we've got some gems. Oh, we've got two of those cups. Um, we've got some shells. Oh, we've got this gorgeous little bee. How beautiful is that? Um, we've also got a cupcake shop, um, ballerina, sewing machines. Yeah, so quite a few really nice charms. I'm going to have to start using my charms. I, I might come on and actually make a charm bracelet with all the charms. One day. <coughs> I keep saying I'm going to do it and then I never get around to it. Um, but like I say, this packaging is just gorgeous. We can definitely use that. Um, in this bag we have our plea kit. Now it looks like we've got quite a bit in here. Um, so a plea kit is perfect for mixed media um, or even like doing your own book covers and things. We have, we've actually got quite a, a huge piece of a plea kit. How gorgeous is that? And straight away it's screaming out to me to make a book cover and not even doing much to it. I mean that just on um, a book would just look amazing. How gorgeous is that? So um, we have that as well. So let's fold all of this back over. Let's see if we can get... Actually, I won't try and get back in now because I probably won't be able to. Um, we've then got our, our ephemera. So let's have a look at that so we've actually got a fair whack this month <clears throat> so we've got a little um teapot we've got sewing thread we've got books um we've got mannequin leaves floral elements i love when they add floral elements in um, a mirror some cups and um, more floral bits another mannequin which is really really nice um, a tape measure, we've got a sewing machine, we have a sofa and then these are actually, are these stickers? These feel like they're stickers, no they're not, um, but we've, these are all really cool, so these are like vintage um, items, so we've got a couple of vintage TVs, we've got some clocks, we've got some tuna, so these are like all sort of foodie things, rocking horses, beer, quite a few of them, um, black cherry soda, old um, oh, chalk, <laughs> yeah, matches, we've got lamps, more sewing machines, love these, so we've got some uh, typewriters, radios, yeah, chewing gum, these are really cool, I am liking these, I like those books as well. So yeah, it's lots and lots of different things. I'm loving the fact that we've got old, and that's an old radio, um, that we've got like home pieces. So again, some more. So it's just absolutely loads in there. So they are going to be really, really fun. And really, really fun to create backgrounds with as well. So yeah, super looking forward to using them. Um, so I can already see a card that you could make for your um your nana or your granddad or your grandma um and having like a front room set up of like from like the 1950s 60s with them so that would look really really cool so yeah that's the ephemera um the next thing we have is our journaling cards so let's have a take a look at these so um i'm thinking they may be all floral these are lovely though so really really nice and then we've got writing on them like the fact we've got the lines on oh they smell amazing i love the smell of new paper um and new books particularly the smell of new books so yeah they are absolutely gorgeous so that is our journaling cards so let's put that in here okay um, and then we have, so I'll do the snip art first. So this is our snip art. So it's a vintage um, style of snip art. So we've got some sewing machines, needles, we've got this frame, buttons, mannequins, and then just says vintage and a family. So really, really nice uh, snip art there. And then this is the stencil um, that we get this month, which is this floral corner piece, which is gorgeous. So looking forward to using them and then the last things in the box yep 
is um, we have two paper pads. So, um, designer paper pad 6x6, companion pad a pastel perfect. So, uh, yep, yeah, and com uh, companion pad her garden. I think I'm actually missing one of the paper pads because I, I, hang on, let's have a look. Designer paper 6x6, companion pad a pastel pad, and companion pad her garden. So I'm actually missing the companion pad. So I don't have that one. So I will have to get in touch with them. Um, but yeah, this is, so this is the designer papers. <clears throat> and it's my grandma's home. Well, oh, is it? Right, um, I'm not sure actually. I thought there was three paper pads. Oh no, there they are. I knew there was three paper pads. So here we are. We do have the three. Ignore me. So I don't have any missing, I, I just, yeah, anyway, this is the designer paper pad, okay, <laughs> so absolutely gorgeous, so again, it's all floral, so in this one we're getting two of each design, oh, look at the cat on the sofa, that's so nice, um, we've got, oh, this is gorgeous, this wreath, um, and we've got this one with the dress and the sewing machine, how gorgeous, this, this is like a garland, and then another air saw machine, more florals. Oh, that's gorgeous with all the butterflies. So really, really nice paper pad, that one. So that's my grandma's home. We've then got a companion pad pastel. Yeah, perfect. So this is this one. So um, this is a thinner weight, but it's actually really, really nice. And we're getting one of each design. And how gorgeous is that? So this is more like um, a backing paper, which I think is gorgeous. How nice. Love. Love this. So that is really, really nice. And then the one that we thought was missing is this one. This is um, her garden designer paper pad. Um, so let's have a look at this. And there's 10 papers in here as well. So um, there. How, oh, we've got a bird on that one, a couple of birds actually. So really, really nice. And if you sort of look closely, you can see um, a wildlife, so you can see butterflies. But isn't that just absolutely stunning? <coughs> Excuse me. So there you have it. So how nice is that? So I'm looking forward to using them. So I think we'll have to do some cards or something with them or maybe a mix a media piece as well. So yeah, that's everything I've got. Um, do look um, out for a video showing how I use these things. Um, yeah, um, and hopefully we'll see you very soon. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting. Bye.